for a few teas, the hungry fairy. Hey everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the hand presso pump. I've been looking for a small portable system to make espresso. The reason is because I don't have that much counter space. Well, at least at the moment I don't. The first stop on my travels is this model. This one I actually could take on vacation with me. On the front and back, it shows the product and use. On one side, it has the simplified directions. The last side has all the accessories you could buy for this. The accessories on the box include a flask, travel case, ground coffee case, and their own pods. So let's take a look inside. The inner box is extremely nice. It's almost a display quality. To open it, you slide out the side. On top, you have the instructions. It's in multiple languages. Also has the gasket. Underneath the foam, you have the basket. And the hand presso itself. It has a nice heft to it at 480 grams. The shape is a little odd, but it's probably to maximize volume and weight. The metal casting and the finishing is very nice. The labeling and the markings are also very well done. This device has really high build quality. Before pumping, you want to make sure the infusion button is closed and that's in the up position. To release the pump, all you have to do is turn the handle. From this point on, you can start pumping. And your goal is to try and get the gauge to reach the green portion, which is 16 bars. At a moderate pace, I was able to do this within a minute. If you're rushing, the best I did was within 30 seconds. In this pump state, you just want to make sure that you don't trigger the infusion button. Removing the porta filter is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is just twist the cap. So the water goes through the coffee and these holes, then it comes out through this hole in the back. At the moment, I have the ESC pod adapter on. It takes the espresso pods that are 44 millimeters. To remove this piece, all you have to do is insert the coin and turn and pull.
If you want to use ground coffee for the shot, you're going to have to use the basket. And that's a 35 millimeter basket. Pay attention to that extra rib piece in the center. That's the water marker. For now, I'm gonna put the pod piece back in and fill the hand presser with hot water. And here goes the portafilter in the lock position. And when you flip over, you see that some water is going to drip out. So that means the water is probably going to infuse the coffee a little bit. And here's the test to see what happens when you don't use a pot or coffee. All the water shoots out. So don't forget to insert coffee or the pod. In the next video, we're going to make some shots. This one's just an unboxing and to have some fun. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.